smells so good. Ooh, I haven't had pizza in a month. I was gonna say ages, but <laughs> I just remembered my last vlog where I went to Pizza Hut with my family. Okay, it's been a month. First of all, don't add me for the <laughs> aluminium oil. That's all I have. But I found this pizza ooh, at the supermarket and I don't think it's fully gluten-free because it doesn't say gluten-free anywhere and if you want to market something, obviously it would be written gluten-free and very big. But it's a cauliflower base, so I figure it's going to be okay. But also there's cheese, so that might make me feel a little bleh, but I'm so sick of eating the same things all the time. So it's the weekend. How about a treat? So while it's cooking, yeah, I know it smells good, yay. While it's cooking, got to empty the laundry. Also bought some kombucha, just in case the pizza doesn't end uh, sitting well with me. Don't add me about how empty my fridge is. It's always empty. This is just getting sad. I had to ask for some tape <laughs> to hold my shoe together. And then on the way back, it just completely flopped off. And I had to walk all the way home with this flopping. So I guess we have a new priority purchase to do. <laughs> the fuck? I don't think I've been anywhere with a rooftop garden before, so I can barely believe. I really use fryers, and this kind of stores up if you don't want that. That is also. I go through these phases all the time, more so. assistant Tibut? Unwanted story time with the Kutri. When I'm angry, like I am right now, I get quite sweary. And when I'm angry at someone, like I am right now, when I explode, I tell them to go eat shit, Which is not good, which is not nice. I don't explode often, but that is the first thing that comes out of my mouth. And it's not nice. So recently, I've been trying to switch it to tone it down, like not take it out because I don't think you'll be able to ever take out the sweariness out of me, but at least make it a little softer. So instead of telling someone to eat, shit, I want to tell them to kiss my ass instead. It's still rude, but it's not as bad as telling them to eat. Shit. But right now, I'm in that weird transition moment where I'm trying to switch from one thing to another and I'm getting the words mixed up and I'm either telling them to eat my ass or to eat my shit, which is probably worse than the first insult. That's my unwanted story time. Morning. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow with a dermatologist. Uh, I think it's been over a year since I went to see her the first time because I had... Um, urticaria whatever however you pronounce that in english all over my body constantly itching she told me it wasn't allergies that it was probably stress related and i have been on antihistamines for the past year now 
but every time I stop taking them, I don't know if you can see it properly, but it starts again everywhere and it's now Tuesday morning. I haven't taken any since Saturday night, just, you know, because I have a <laughs> doctor's appointment and I want to be able to show her. But it's tomorrow morning and I'm so itchy everywhere that's why i put i slicked my hair back as much as i can but even like this little strand touching my neck is causing me to itch that's how bad it is that's uh, i need a real a real uh turtleneck this is a, a, a mock a mock neck anyway that's the update we'll see what she says tomorrow but i'm guessing more tests or just like keep taking the antihistamines until you die hope not later that day tuesday 1 31 p.m itchy f i can do this how bad is it be honest with me guys it's so itchy oh, it's burning <laughs> Oh no, my entire skin is on fire, my entire skin aches and it hurts and I want to itch it, oh my goodness, um, if you're wondering why I look bold it's because I slicked my hair back into a super tight bun because I cannot stand the feeling of my own hair on my scalp, that's how bad it is. Um, must be exhausted because I have about five alarms in the morning and I slept through all of them. I managed to turn them off while sleeping because I don't remember actually doing it. I just remember the last alarm ringing and looking at the time and it's like, <gasps> I have a doctor's appointment this morning. Luckily, I managed to hurry up and now I can get ready. I still, I think I have like a little less than an hour, so I, I don't know how I did that, but I have like, first alarm is on my Fitbit, second alarm is on my um, clock on my nightstand, like the light thing. Then I got phone, phone, phone. And I like, I only heard the last one, which is crazy. Anyway, I'm taking my, my tablets with me. And as soon as I walk out of the dermatologist's office, I'm taking one. Well, it depends on what she says, obviously, but I cannot stand this. This is horrible. I'm itchy everywhere. You can't see it because the lighting's on the top because it's super early in the morning. I think it's like 7 a.m. or something. But, oh, you can't see it, but I'm like red. I don't have any makeup, obviously, because I want her to see my face. But like, you can see here that it's spread to my face over here. And you can't see under my eyes, but I have like swollen little patches here and there. Yeah, you can't see it, but yeah, I look ago AF this morning. I'm feeling very self-conscious, so I'm gonna shove on. I'm cold, but I know if I put on my sweater, I'll be itchy from where it touches around my neck. So it's like, mm. I hope we can figure this out. Probably gonna involve some tests. Or it's just gonna be like, keep on taking the antihistamines. I'll let you guys know. Hey, it's uh, Iku from the future compared to the clip you just seen. I was editing, there's no end to this video. So here I am. I'm sorry for my attire. Um, it's mid-December now and uh, I've just had tonsillitis all week. I'm better now and by the time you watch this video, I'll probably be completely better, but I'm keeping super warm and cozy just in case. Um, so back to the dermatology appointment and also back to this video. I'm sorry, it's just random clips uh, from like one month, even two months ago, but hey, <laughs> vlogging is like this. But like, uh, yeah, dermatologist appointment. I can do this. Um, first appointment, um, she said that I should up the dosage of my antihistamines to see if it was going to change anything and it didn't. Went back and now I'm either faced with the option of, hi Betty, <laughs> of just keeping, take, like staying on the antihistamines indefinitely 
or I can try and get injections but since I'm moving to Japan I don't think that would be a good option because I don't want to be abroad and just do this new treatment and ha not have a doctor like my doctor around uh, but she did still recommend that I do the prick test anyway uh, the thing where the like like do small pricks on your back and then like with a small substance that you might be allergic to just at least to get like the paperwork ready in case I want to get the injections eventually so um, I might do that but oh my god all these doctor appoint appointments since I don't know when it was like May, June I have like two to three doctor appointments a month obviously not just dermatologists for everything else so we'll have to see if I can for this one before I go because even calculating now I have appointments up up till March already so we'll have to see yeah anyway I'm gonna finish editing this video uh, thank you all for watching I know this one was just random bits and pieces but I hope it, I hope it was entertaining and I hope you're keeping warm and cozy and positive and yeah see you later